because there's a lot of people who I've met in person who claim stuff like 18 inch arms who I promise you their arms are 16 or, or less who are YouTubers. There's some pretty famous YouTubers out there who have 15 to 16 inch arms who claim stuff like 17, 18, whatever, and their stats. I mean, a 16 and a half inch arm for a drug-free lifter, especially, especially if you're not over 200 pounds, is, is massive. In fact, there was even some, some stuff had done many years ago that had come out that, that they had actually measured stuff like Arnold's arms. And it turned out that even Arnold Schwarzenegger's arms when he was Mr. Olympia, when they were really measured, independently measured, instead of claimed stats, were actually something like 18 and a half or 19 inches. All right, they were less than 20 inches. And he was on a ton of drugs and had genetically gifted arms. All right, perspective here, people. All right. Which means at 17 and a quarter inches is as small as my arms get. I should probably do another measurement in another video after I've actually trained my arms and after I've had my 800 to 1,000 grams or so of carbs I eat every day. And I think we'll probably see them be well over 18 at that point. So for people who are saying, oh, this guy only has 15 inch arms, he only has 16 inch arms, it's because my torso and everything are so big that it makes them look smaller. You know what guys, I may just quit curling completely. I feel like at this point, curls aren't doing shit for me. Rows and chin-ups are what gave me 20 inch arms before. I've been doing, you guys notice, I'm sure you guys have noticed even me on TRT that I am dramatically smaller and weaker than I was in my 20s. I don't walk around with 20 inch arms anymore. I don't bench 475. We get older. Here I go. Oh. Oh, and speaking of the bicep shot, a few people have noticed that popped up who aren't familiar with my work. They think that I'm being egotistical with the bicep shot. They don't realize this is something I started doing a long time ago. But I had 20 inch arms when I did that, and there are photos up proving it. I had 20 inch arms when I ripped my bicep. 2004 and I've struggled with bicep development since that tear because I don't ever want to just go, go well I can use a 20 kilo dumbbell on the left side and I can use a 40 kilo dumbbell with the right and I ended up looking like a lobster so my choices are either you know slowly bring up my biceps and try to do the best I can or I can have one bicep that's two inches bigger than the other I've chosen to just kind of take my time with it, except the fact that I've got... So, that being said, uh, again, an 18-inch lean arm is a lot rarer than people think, even in the anabolic steroid world, until people get on hefty amounts. You'd be surprised how many uh, guys are really 16 or 17 who you think might be 18. It's fairly rare. But look, I came off of gear, lost about 40 pounds of muscle. I could still bench 405. I could still squat 550. I was still 215 lean... I was going to say 19 inch arms, but my left bicep had been ruptured, so it was smaller. But my right one was 19 inches still. And I hadn't been on drugs for three years. That's three years after coming off, I had had a sl really do have 18 inch arms, and I really do have a 52 inch chest and 30 inch thighs. But when have you ever personally dealt with body dysmorphia? Oh, absolutely. That's one reason I talk about body dysmorphia. Um, it's something I've gone through. Um, like when I was at my biggest as a lifter in my 20s, uh, when my arms were taping 20 inches, and there are plenty of photos circulating around. It's not like i got to hide it or anything. They're out there. Um, I've put some up before. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Like, I can honestly tell you that when I had 20-inch arms, when I looked in the mirror, they looked like they were like 12 inches. And I'm just like, fuck, you know, what, what do I do about this? I know that when I had 20 inch arms, my weighted chin ups and things were so much stronger than they are right now. And even when I was at fairly close to the same body weights, and again, I have to wonder for me if the fact that I haven't focused enough on something like my weighted chin ups has actually been a big hindrance for me. But yeah, I have 18 inch arms. I have a 51 inch chest right now. I'm five foot nine, 220 pounds. So to give you guys, right, way overshadows them. And for perspective, some people are get people who joke and say, oh, you have small arms. Actually, I have 18 inch arms. That's how big my torso is. Okay, I have 18 inch arms. Uh, what's my current upper arm size? Uh, it's down because I'm cutting. The last time I measured, which has been a little bit, they were at 17. But again, when people say, well, they don't look that big, people don't realize my weight and overall size, like how wide I am. It, it makes a 17-inch arm look really small on me.
What are the best exercises? Oh, yes, I just covered that. How big are your arms and legs? Brian, I haven't measured uh, recently, but if I had to guess, I do have a tape. If I were to estimate based upon because of fat loss and cutting, my arms are down to 17 right now. When I did check them a little while back, uh, my legs are probably 29, maybe even 30 inches. Do you believe in? Yeah, the thing is, all right, you guys looked, got a really good view of me than some of my training clips, and particularly the video I did the other day of me holding up the meat and everything in Walmart so you guys can see the example of 30 pounds of meat. And when I turn it aside and you guys saw me from three-dimensional angles moving, it becomes apparent that my torso and my chest and everything are so big that my 18-inch arms actually look small, particularly with them being as long as they are. I need more.